everybody, I'm Greg McHale, and I'm gonna run you through the optic system that I use as far as binoculars go. So I'm using Vortex Optics for everything that I go with. And I'm gonna start out with the Fury. Those are the HD 5000s. They have a built-in range finder. Now, there's a specific use for this that I use up here in the Yukon, and it's really around hunting for moose over the water. So when I'm calling moose and there's really good potential that that animal can be moving in, you know, around a lake shore, I need to pick it up, I need to take a look at it, and then it's always on the move, and I need to quickly be able to adjust. So that's where I think that the Fury really shines in its ability to give me a good range and let me know exactly how far that animal is and watch them and have the ability to watch through good glass and have them come in. So that's really the specific use where I use the Furies. Now, I'm gonna go to my go-to. This is the tried and true. These are the 10 by 42s. This is the Razor UHD series. It's the highest quality glass that Vortex builds. These are the binoculars that I use probably 90% of the time. So in the mountain environment, the power at 10 with a 42 mil objective lens is exactly what I need. It's a great balance between stability and weight. I find that I really don't need anything else. If this was the only glass that I had, this would work for me under every circumstance that I really would need it in the Yukon. Um, with obviously the only inability to be able to range find. So that's my go-to. That's the Razor UHD 10 by 42s. Now, when I step up to the next power, which is the 12s, I go again to the Razor series Vortex with the UHDs, and these are 12 by 50s. So a little larger objective lens, a little more light gathering capability, where these really shine is off of a tripod. I can really get them on the tripod, hold them steady, and really see what it is that I'm looking at. They really fill a gap between a spotting scope, you know, the 22 power spotting scope, and the 10 power binoculars. So if I'm looking at moose in the Alpine, that the spotting scope is just too much power too close, these are where the 12s really shine. Now I have trouble hand holding these, but you know, there's a quick attachment to your tripod and you've got stability and you can really dial in on, you know, seeing what's out there with a little more power than the 10s. And that's where these shine for me in the mountains, which is, you know, kind of late season alpine hunting for moose. They really work well. Now, because they don't have the ability to range find, um, I'm always carrying, this is the Vortex, this is the 4000 range finder and it, it's bomb proof. It really works for me under all circumstances that I've used it in, whether it's snow, whether it's you know high mountains, whether it's down in the valleys. The 4000s are just a, a great all around range finder that ha has not failed me. So I really carry that in the top of my pack. I don't need it specifically in the mountains until I actually need it. So I don't have to strap it onto me I don't, I usually just keep it in the top of my backpack and then when I need it, I get it, pull it out, I can range the animal and then I know exactly how far it is and I can plan the shot from there. So that's my lineup as far as the binoculars that I use out in the field in the Yukon here and the kind of the scenarios that I use them in. So if I only had one binocular to use of all of the choices that you have out there, I would be going with the Razor UHD 10 by 42s. They would be strapped to my body on every hunt at all times. So if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, and we'll keep pounding out content for you.